In the grim reality of klepto-capitalism, techno-feudalism, and institutional fascism, the plight of the artist appears increasingly bleak and futile. Mass media, once a beacon of free expression and cultural diversity, has been co-opted by the ruling elite to serve as a potent tool of manipulation and control. Under the iron grip of institutional fascism, dissent is crushed, and alternative voices are silenced with ruthless efficiency. Mass media as a weapon of oppression, in the hands of the fascist regime, mass media becomes a weapon of oppression, disseminating propaganda and misinformation to maintain the illusion of stability and control. Through censorship, surveillance and state-sponsored disinformation campaigns, dissenting voices are marginalized, and independent thought is quashed before it can take root. Techno-feudalism and digital enslavement Techno-feudalism further entrenches the power of the ruling elite, as digital surveillance and data mining transform the Internet into a virtual panopticon. Algorithms and AI-driven platforms monitor and manipulate public discourse, shaping perceptions and controlling behavior with Orwellian precision. The illusion of choice and freedom masks the reality of digital enslavement, as individuals become unwitting pawns in a game of techno-tyranny. Institutional fascism and the death of dissent, under the suffocating grip of institutional fascism, dissent is not merely discouraged it is eradicated with ruthless efficiency. Artists who dare to challenge the status quo are swiftly silenced, their work suppressed, and their voices extinguished. Those who speak out are met with violence, imprisonment, or exile, as the fascist regime consolidates its power through fear and intimidation. Erasure of the artist and the death of hope in this dystopian landscape, the artist's struggle for autonomy and expression is rendered meaningless in the face of overwhelming oppression. The erasure of the artist becomes symbolic of society's descent into darkness as creativity and dissent are crushed beneath the boot of fascist tyranny. Grassroots solidarity and resistance are but distant dreams, crushed by the weight of despair and apathy. In the face of such overwhelming odds, the artist's cause appears hopeless their cries for justice drowned out by the deafening silence of conformity and complicity. In this nightmarish world, where freedom is but a distant memory and resistance is met with swift and brutal reprisal, the artist's voice is but a whisper in the wind a tragic reminder of humanity's capacity for cruelty and oppression.